What's the cleanest way to produce electricity? After dams and wind farms, most people would probably answer solar panels, and they wouldn't be wrong. With almost no negative effects to the environment, solar panels are at the top of the list of clean energy sources currently available to mankind. Well, what if we told you that the largest solar panel farm on Earth isn't on land, but on water? You'd be surprised, right? Solar panels and water are surprisingly a match made in heaven, and today we're going to take a look at the biggest floating solar farm in the world. Advantages of Floating Solar Farms Floating on the Duryang Kang Reservoir in the south of Batam Island and spanning nearly 4,000 acres, that's 1,600 hectares, is the Sunseep Solar Farm. The Sunseep Solar Farm is the biggest solar farm in the world and an exciting feat of engineering. You see, while solar farms are a great way to produce clean and renewable electricity, they also take a lot of space. In countries where the population is rapidly growing, like Singapore and China, building solar farms lessens the land available for other productive purposes like farming, housing or industry. This coupled with the fact that these areas also have some of the highest per capita carbon dioxide emissions in the world means that you can't really build traditional gas or fuel power plants there. The solution to the electricity problem is solar, but where to place them? Easy. Throw them on a lake. Lakes and other bodies of water are great for solar panels for multiple reasons. First, they provide a place to put the solar panels without reducing land available for human use. Secondly, they also help keep the solar panels cool, which increases their efficiency. Nifty, right? Efficiency is a big factor to the success of solar panels because they're usually not that efficient, most of the energy they gain is actually lost as heat. With a huge body of water beneath them, however, the efficiency skyrockets and they are able to produce a lot more electricity. And it's not just good for the solar panels themselves, the lakes also benefit because the shade provided helps to keep the lakes cool and improves the oxygen levels in the water. This is great for the fish and plants that live in the water too. Basically, floating solar farms solve all the problems that land solar farms face and also add in a few benefits to sweeten the deal. Solar farms also line up perfectly with their hydro counterparts and building solar farms on pre-existing water reservoirs that fuel dams comes with the benefit of reducing transmission costs. You can just plug the solar panels directly into the already present electrical grid and get on with it. It's that easy. The major benefit, however, becomes apparent in summers or the dry season, because that's when the water reservoirs dry up and hydropower can't sustain the same output it generates during peak rainy season. Having a solar plant component to a pre-existing dam comes in handy here because they produce the most power during the summers. Combined hydro and solar power are the future and the way to go. According to Frank Fuen, co-founder and chief executive of Sunseep, floating solar systems will go a long way to address the land constraints that urbanized parts of Southeast Asia face in tapping renewable energy. The Sunseep Floating Power Plant now let's move on to the crown jewel of floating solar plants, the Sunseep floating power plant itself. This work of expert engineering was built by Sunseep, a Singaporean energy company that's committed to helping Singapore achieve its target of becoming a country completely dependent on only renewable energy. The project is expected to produce more than 2.2 gigawatt peak GWP and is located in the Duryang Kang Reservoir in Batam Island. Sunseep power plant's output will be used to power the nearby houses on Batam Island, where the rest of the electricity is planned to be exported to Singapore via a deep sea cable. This electricity will be non-intermittent, meaning the supply will continue all around the clock. Contrary to what some people believe, solar farms don't stop supplying electricity at night. Sure, they stop producing electricity, but the supply doesn't stop once the sun goes down. Why is that? Well, it's simple. Solar panels have batteries. These batteries are charged during the day, and then they are used to continue supplying during the night or cloudy days when the production of new electricity stops or slows down. Construction of the project, which will be financed through bank debt and Sunseep Capital, is planned for completion in 2024. Approximately $2 billion will be spent on the project if everything goes as planned. It will move forward in two phases, one of which has already started. In fact, the plant currently supplies energy to some houses in Batam Island. Phase 2 is due to begin in 2022, and the plant will be completed in 2024, as we mentioned earlier. 
Taking a look at the carbon footprint of the Sunseep project, it's expected that the project will offset more than 1.8 million metric tons of emissions annually, the equivalent of 400,000 cars worth of emissions per year. That's pretty amazing, right? This will be super beneficial for Singapore because the country currently sits at the top of the list of carbon dioxide producing countries in the world. The project is a big deal for Sunseep too. It will allow them to double their current portfolio of renewable energy production. Even without this project though, they make a ton of renewable energy. In fact, Sunseep has over 2,000 megawatt producing solar farms spread throughout Asia. They even made another plant in Singapore just a short while ago, although that project was a smaller one, only producing 5 megawatts of electricity. It was completed in March and is located along the Strait of Johor in Singapore. We hope you liked this video. Do you think solar farms on water are the energy solution of the future? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want to see more amazing videos, just click on the notification bell and subscribe to Tech Division.